guys, welcome to one of my how-to videos. First off, I'm going to show you all how to build a canvas. For that, you're going to need a 1x2 and what's called a quarter round. You're also going to need some wood glue, some small nails, a miter saw, and you're going to need a couple wood joiners. Alright, so I tried to get a miter saw from Home Depot. The one that I really, really like is the Stanley. It's a miter box and the saw that's included. But, only problem was, when I went to get it, Home Depot stopped carrying it. You can only buy it online. Therefore, I had to settle for something a little more expensive, a little bigger, and a little more powerful. The next thing you might want to do is to measure out how long you want your wood to be. Yes, take that however you want, guys. Alright, so I'm going to use a measuring tape and I'm going to make mine 16 by 20. So I'm going to make a mark using a pen or pencil, doesn't really matter which. two pieces the same exact length that when I cut what I want to do is line up the wood so that it is exact or as exact as possible go down to the bottom here and use your tool your pencil your pen make a mark like so therefore you're going to get the same size as this one here so I'm going to take my tape measure I'm going to line it up with the wood again the longest length, and then I already did 16, I already did the 20, so now I want to do 16. So I'll line it up to the 16, make a mark, I'm going to cut that baby down. And there we go. Okay, do the same exact thing. Now, unlike what I have to work here, or work with here, um, I highly recommend that your surface be flat. Therefore, you're not doing what I'm doing right now, which is crouching outside in my backyard. But my baby's asleep at the moment, so there we go. Alright, so like I said, the outside, tiny strip of wood glue. It's really important that you don't overload this. Now it's starting to rain. Alright, so I'm going to try to do as fast as possible. And then I'll be relocating as soon as possible. Now that I have all of them attached, even if just barely at this point, this one here. That's basically what you're going for. You want them all attached just like this. And then you're going to use that miter saw again and cut it at angles just like that. Alright, now officially having to move indoors because the rain. I'm now working in my basement at my son's desk, which is also known as the coffee table right now. So the first thing you want to do is get a paper towel and just kind of wipe off 
that excess glue. Now that it's wet from the rain. So that's not helping me. baby here is known as a corner clamp and what it does is it allows you to put two pieces of wood together so you can frame it. There we go. Okay, so these two are the same size and these two are the same size. You don't want to put two of the same sizes together. You want to do one and one. So I'm going to put it together just like this, using the corner clamp. I'm going to put one and the other. I'm going to need your wood glue, which I found in the bag. Take your wood glue, a little bit of wood glue right there at the edge. Line it up. the match and then tighten the sides. They look like this. They're very, very scary. They've got those sharp teeth there and then a flat piece there. So I'm going to make sure my clamp is pretty flat. I'm going to apply the wood joiner right in the middle. Use a hammer. And push it all. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is to take two of my longer nails and I'm going to nail one in on this side and then nail one in on this side. Okay, so when you lay the two pieces down, it should look just like this and it should look like a frame. Da -da -da -da. All right. So now I'm going to join this corner and this corner together. All right, there you have it. One genuine built canvas frame. The last thing that you're going to need to do before you actually start putting your canvas together is to sand down the edges. You can see they're kind of sharp right there. So you might want to use a little handy dandy sander like this. This is perfect. A little sander. It works fabulously. Oops. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to do that outside so that I don't get anything all over the place. As I said, the last thing I did was to sand the edges of the canvas right here. Well, I also took the sander and sanded off some of the edges here so that it wouldn't be as sharp because my canvas is very thin and I don't want it to be ripped at all. So therefore, I sanded down the corners. All right, the next thing you're going to need is canvas. And it comes in a roll like this. You can also buy it by the sheet. You can go to Plaza and get it. You can go to U-Truck and get it. Um, I've even heard that Home Depot sells canvas, but I don't think that's really artist quality. You're more than welcome to go out and get it yourself if you're just starting. But for those of you who are a little more experienced and just want to do things you know, a little cheaper, like myself, I recommend that you go out and get some nice canvas on a roll. So we're going to need our canvas pliers. 
I'm going to take one and wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to do two because that one can go. Okay. And you're going to flip it over. Just on the other side. Use the canvas pliers. Canvas pliers is they also double as a Should be pretty flush, should be tight, you shouldn't see any buckling or anything. And you grab the cord. Alright, next, you're going to want to get a nice corner, kind of like a hospital corner, on your canvas. Next thing that you're going to do is put two layers of gesso on top of this. Okay. Make sure you can hear that drum beat sound, otherwise it's not completely tucked. Alright, have fun guys.